This week on Scam School, we give you actual talent. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to the show that never relies on a teleprompter in order to... What the hell does that say? Uh, Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. Howdy, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have an extravaganza. We're joined by three of the top performing magicians on colleges nationwide where we actually learn a usable talent, a skill that makes us look smart and be smart, not just lie about having wizard powers and make our parents so sad and disappointed. Dude, this is like the ultimate fantasy scam school shoot for me because we're hanging with all my favorite people who are the, the top magicians in all of the college market. We got Pete Waugh, Dan Martin back on the show, and of course, Eric Dettelman from America's Got Talent. How you guys doing, man? Good. Wonder Good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan's like, well, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, but thank you, Brian. I'm I appreciate it. Part of your fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. All right, so this time I thought it would be fun to have, we're, we've had episodes where you're the expert, where I'm the expert. Pete, we're going to have episodes with you as the expert, but I thought all of us could learn an actual skill that's totally not BS that will actually make us look smart to other people. <laughs> so, of course, we naturally turn to you, Eric. Right. Make us smart. Go. Sure. Uh, well, I need you to get your calculator out. Oh, uh, see, that's not smart. This is lazy. That's, that's for you. Right. I'm not going to oh, use I see. the calculator. For the idiots. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got my calculator right. ready. So, type in any two digit number. Don't let me see it. Any, anyone I want? Yeah. Okay. Good. Multiply it by itself. Yep, yep, yep. Squaring it. Yep. Right. Now do that again so you cube it, right? All right, so I'm taking the number times itself times itself. Correct. All right. Now you it. have a total. A very big number, yes. Yes. So I'm going to attempt to do the cube root in my head. Okay. So go ahead. What's the total? The total is uh, 328,509. 328,509. 509. Yeah. That's interesting, because I think you put a very interesting number in. Well, I don't know what was you're talking 69? about. It was 69? It was the number 69! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, do no, it again. Do another one. Did that was really an mean? obvious one. Maybe I memorized <laughs> what the... And I'm not going to do yeah. like 10 oh, times, yeah, 10 times, 10 or nothing. Because that's easy, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do it okay. again. I'm going to do a big... Just change it up. Just right, choose a go. different two-digit number. All right, I got it. And then you multiply it by itself by itself. Yep, so, yep, yep. Total. Uh, 74,088. 74,000. 74088. So you must have put in, I believe that was 42? Yes! Oh. yes <laughs> to like the universe and everything. Yeah. Now, how do you, oh, now do you actually do you math? Or no, there's a trick to it. I'm not that smart, so I'll teach you guys the All trick. All right, uh, is it something that's easy enough that we could learn it right here as soon as we take a break, though? Of course. All right, well, then let's do All that. Right, we'll cheers. take our <laughs> Hey Brian, check this out, man. I got this super cool trick for you. Yep. I set you have to set up all the cards in a very specific order. It took you a while to put it them in. It took me like 30 minutes to all get right, this. That's... How's that feel? Should have backed up with carbonite. That's right, carbonite. Because when your data matters, you don't want your service to fail, your external backups to be lost forever. You got important stuff. You put a lot of effort into the content on your computer. And if you don't want to lose it forever, then see our friends over at Carbonite. They update stuff automatically to the cloud so all your backups are available. You're able to access it on the app on your iPhone or Android smart device. They got plans for everything from backing up your single computer to your entire network. And the best part is if you use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, you'll get two months free when you order. Go ahead and get your free trial. Head on over to Carbonite.com. How's it going? All right, walk us through this, Eric. First of all, it does really work no matter what the two-digit number is. Right, it's got to be a two-digit number that you're solving to. Okay, so, all right, so, so what's the first step? There's got to be a little bit of memorization, and uh, so first we're just going to write down the digits 0 through 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And nine, and you actually do need to know what the cubes are of each of these. All right, well, so that's we'll test easy. So like zero yep. cubed is zero. Yeah. One cubed is one. Yep. Keep going. Two cubed is eight. Yep. Three cubed is uh, twenty-seven. 27. <laughs> okay. Don't make it. <laughs> don't sass me, sir. Four cubed is uh, 64. sixty-four. Five cubed is one hundred twenty-five. Yep. Six this cubed is a little is bit harder. A little bit harder. Two sixteen. But okay, how yeah. can you remember? Because this... that's thirty-six times six, right? Yeah. 
It's so, so this is the part where you kind of just have to memorize All this, right. but we'll use this as a reference as you're memorizing it. All right. Seven cubed is three forty. Uh, yeah, three forty-three. Okay. Eight cubed is five twelve, and 512. nine cubed is seven twenty-nine. We can just stop the trick right there. <laughs> that's that was that's awesome. You're already just like he knows math. <laughs> yeah. That was that, that's just the basic. You got to spend some time with this list and actually just memorize okay, now, it. Uh, okay. Just as, as far as making the associations, I guess what you want to do is just sort of visually associate the numbers. Together, I mean, sure, some of sure. them like like four cubed, you know, sixty four is a well known number if you're a geek right. or a mm -hmm. hacker. Mm -hmm. Same thing with eight cubed being uh, five hundred and twelve. Right. Uh, I guess really there's only three hard ones. Seven twenty nine. All the digits add up to nine. Like, oh, uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There. All right. Uh, 216, and actually you'll notice for most of these, the uh, last digit matches. So five and five, six and six, and so forth, with a few exceptions. Yeah, But all we'll right. get to that in a moment. Okay, got okay, it. Okay, cool. So, you, uh, right. so pretty much once you know this, you can solve any two digit cube. And I'll, let's do an example, I think that'll be best. Okay, so here. type in any number for us. All right, I'm gonna do, um, should I say what? I yeah, say I, it out loud. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, 71. Okay. And times 71. Mm -hmm. Times 71. And the total? 357. 357. 911. 911. So if all you had is that number, where do right. you start? So now you're going to take a look at everything to the left of the comma in okay. the thousands place. So the 357 yep. is going to appear somewhere on our chart. So 357 appears between 343 and 512. So between the right. values for 7 so and 8. So it hasn't quite got up to 8 yet, so we know we must be in for 7 still. Okay. Does that make sense? So you know of? the first digit is seven. The first digit has to be seven. All right. Now we just take a look at the last digit, and we look at our chart, and the only digit that ends in one is the one. Oh, So it's shoot. 71. Try another Shut one. Up. Try another one. Okay, 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 okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Hold yeah. on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do 57 I can pretend to do math. Times 57. Math. <laughs> <laughs> 57. <laughs> okay. So what's the total? 185. 185. 193. 193. So in this case, you t you look at the ones on the left. Yeah, 185 falls between 125 and 216. Right. So we haven't gotten to six yet. So it's it got to be a five, five first. Yep. And the only one that ends in a three seven. is over here. So it's got to be a seven. 57. That was the number. So. Like I said, you just gotta memorize that one, you know, you can just look at the chart. One is one, some of them, you know, the nine ends in nine. And just two and eight are switched, and three and seven all are right, switched. All right, all right, get out of here. We're gonna try it on can each I other. Can I write it on my drink? You can use the chart if you'd like. All right, you can use the chart. Yeah. But your number right. is, I did, a, I did a lower number for you. All right. The number is 13,000. 824. So, uh, and, and don't you spoil it. I won't. 13,824. Yeah, so the first digits, Okay. you got to you gotta figure out, right? So, it is, wait for it, 24. You're absolutely correct. Right, exactly. Woo! Dude, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> all right, all right, here, here, you do me. You do me. Right, here, 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 15,000. 625. All right, so the first digit has to be 2 because 15 is less than 27. Right. And then what were the last three digits? 625. So 25, uh, so 5, I guess I'm looking, so it's got to be 5, so it's got to be 25. Absolutely correct. Exactly. Right. That's it. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Now the important thing to remember is just when you have a end, something that ends in three, it switches to the seven. Okay. And vice versa, if something ends in seven, it switches to the three. So because if the last digit of your cube ends in three, it's not a direct, you don't just go to three, you, you don't it just goes say to three. seven. Right. Yeah. So the exceptions are, and I guess the same so with you eight. Think, yeah, so eight, eight two, goes to two, eight and goes two to goes two, to eight. And three goes to seven. Okay, but everything else is its own. Zero, right. zero, one is one, mm -hmm. four is four, five is five, six is six, and nine, nine is, is nine. nine. Right. So just remember two to eight and three to seven is the swap on the other one. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Yeah. I think I can do it without looking at the chart now. Actually, yeah, first, right. first I want to see right. if Dan can do it. Uh, you can use the charts, uh, baby training <laughs> wheels. Okay. All right, I got you, I got you. All right, go ahead. Um, Pick a big old fat PD number. 59,319. Upside down rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he needs oh, another yeah. drink. All right, all right. 59,319. Less than. Hold on, I got 59,319. 59,200. 319. <laughs> we need another drink over here for this man. <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah. so, so 59,000 is less than the 64. So that would be three. So it would be 30. Uh, What's the last nine? Digit? Yeah! Yay! 
All right, now. This is a no amazing. chart. No <laughs> chart. Oh, Finally, you just got to memorize. For you or me? Uh, all of us. You. We can work on it together. Do you want our one? one? Eric, I'll, 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 put, right. I'll put, all put right. in a number here. So what the cool thing is that this is in a lot of beginner mental math uh, books and everything like that. So you can yeah. actually learn to do a lot it's of math useful. really fast sure. in your head uh -huh. using these so tricks. you assholes. Yeah. You say you never learn anything useful on scam school? <laughs> Go screw yourselves. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, ready. 79,507. All right, so it's slightly more than 64, uh, but it's less than whatever, uh, 125. So yeah. that means it's got the first digit has to be four. And what was the last digit? Good. 79,507. So seven, seven <coughs> goes with three. Uh, so it's got to be, uh, what did I just say? The first one was 43? That's right! Oh! Yeah! Dude, this is fantastic. This is the kind of wizardry that I always want. You gave us actual talent. Yeah. It's like a Christmas miracle dream nice. come true. <laughs> Now I know when you first see this, it looks super overwhelming. And I know you're gonna think that it's too hard to memorize those numbers. Trust me, put your mind to it. You'll get this down in less than three minutes. I had never heard of this before we tried it. And within seconds, I was able to remember most of the numbers. And the ones that don't line up naturally, they of course have their cousin on the other side of the number line. Trust me, you're gonna get this down. It'll take no time and you're gonna melt brains at the bars. And when you do, I want you to write me your success stories or failure stories and send them to brian at schwood.com. We'll feature them on Behind the Scam. And better yet, go ahead and follow all my friends. We're talking about Eric Dittleman's website, talking about Dan Martin's website, talking about Peter Bois' website. And of course, make sure to check out their Twitters as well. And little old me, I'm at Schwood on the Twitters. And of course, new stuff every week at scamstuff.com. Now next week, you're not gonna wanna miss it. We're gonna go to a nice little country cottage where a farmer has promised he can teach us how to turn beer into cheese. At which point, I'm gonna punch that old man in the face and say, why are you turning beer into cheese? This, this is a crime. This is beer, this is alcohol abuse.